Hello, this is Jimmy Blevins. Today I'm going to show you how to add a pricing table using the Divi Visual Builder. So I've already got my pricing table module up here. And to start off, we're going to want to add a new item. And this is just going to create one of the columns for our table. So I'll leave the featured setting off for the first one. And this feature allows you to have custom settings for one of the pricing tables. So if you've got two side by side or three side by side, you can make one of them stand out more if you'd like to. I'm going to do that to the next table that I build. So first off, we put in a title. And then you can put in a little subtitle there. Um, denote your currency if you want it to be dollars or if you want to put a pound sign in there. And this is um, per, you know, if you wanted to do this price is for one item or 10 items, you can also do per month. And then you can put the price in. So we'll do this one at $29.95. You can see that it, it's already got kind of a standard style sheet to dress it up a little bit. So we can put a button on there as well with a link to you know an opt-in page or a form. And then we can add media. And these are pretty much just bullet points. So this is where we want to line out the features of our package. Um, and it automatically puts in a bullet point for you. And then you can have, if you want one of them to be opted out, you just put a, a minus sign in front of it. I'll scroll up so you can see. I'll just say extra stuff. So you can see this one's grayed out. So when we come into our next table, we can add that feature back in and we'll make this table featured as well. Currency set to a dollar per month. And the price on this will be $59.95. Make that one a little more, a little more pushy. Okay, so you can you can see that this gives you the ability to really make one of your packages stand out. And you've got a lot of design options as well, which I'm gonna get into. I just wanted to show you the basic outline first. So, ultimate features. I'll leave the extra stuff in there. Okay, awesome. Our awesome pricing tables are done. So now, if I want to come in and change up um, the design settings, I've got the standard ones where I can go in and change um, my table background color and my table table header background colors. So if I want, you know, my, my feature table to be pink in the background and the header to be orange, featured table, header background color, I'll make that pink too. And then you can change text color, price color, so this is where you go in and you, and you pretty much do the design elements for your, your main two things, your regular pricing table and your featured pricing table. You change bullet color, featured bullets, um, take off the drop shadow. It usually has a little drop shadow under here. You can get rid of that. Um, I did another website where I actually spaced these out a little bit and made them all the same size and the same color without a featured one. And it, it worked out really well. So you've got a lot of control over how you want this to look. And, and then of course you've also got control over the buttons, custom styles for buttons. And you can also change the border. And then if you come into the individual elements themselves, you even have more control over the design. So you can get into each individual column or pricing item and have each one of them with a unique have text colors, pricing colors, all kinds of different options that you've got there. So this pricing tables have become pretty standard on websites these days. So it's nice to know that Divi has a really 
um, really robust option for you to be able to put those in and really dial in how they look so they can dress up your website. Well, that covers everything with the pricing tables. My name is Jimmy Blevins, and thank you so much for watching.